Warmack? One air, huh? I'm gonna teach this air the business. The business end of Excalibur, it looks like. And the business ends of Cole's telescopic fist of doom! Wish I had a fist of doom. Eh, I'd probably never use it. Like, set drinks on it, maybe. I don't know why Tiamat wa wanted to live in a space castle. I mean, aside from the obvious uh, fact that space castles are awesome. How am I not getting into encounters? That's weird. These squares I'm walking on must be flagged as no encounter. That's bizarre, man. I can just do this forever. Crazy, I did not even know that. I learned something new. Thanks for poisoning my Black Wizard. I only need him to kill my Warmack. At least I don't have to move my party around. Come on, Warmack. Warmack? More slimes. But you see the waiting, my friends. The anticipation will just make the victory all the sweeter. You don't get anything for killing the Warmack, just bragging rights. But I like bragging rights. Dust them off, put them on my shelf, next to my Fist of Doom. Warmack! Oh, here's that troll-ass Bluezoid again. And Will's like, I ain't messing with no Bluezoids. Warmack? Naucho. Beat it, Naucho. Warmack's coming up, guys. Gonna serve one for you. Not this fight, but the next fight. Next fight. Here comes. Guys, hold on to your seats. Here comes. Here comes. Right there, Warmack! Our Hydra. I wonder if, like, the Warmack is a construct that was introduced to the floating castle to help exterminate the Arhydras and Naojos. I guess they're supposed to be space monsters, even though at this point in the game, the player will already um, identify them as river monsters because they've been river monsters the whole game. Warmack! Ooh, chance to run. Hey guys, check this out. I'm running away from you. Ha 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 ha. Warmack? No, not a Warmack. I had a friend as a kid who insisted that the CH sound in words could never be hard, like you always had to pronounce it with a CH, so he called it the Warmech. And the last boss of the game wasn't Chaos, it was Chows. That's how he said it. Chows. And I was only like nine years old, but I knew he was retarded. And I told him so, and he hit me, and we got in a fight, and then we both probably got grounded. Sick of being trolled by Bluezoids. Thanks, Will. This was back in a time like when I wanted to really irritate my friends, I would erase their saves in games. Like, I would... He had, like, an endgame party in Final Fantasy. I would make a new party and name the guys You a Butthead. So when he loaded it up, not only would his, all his progress be gone, but he would also know that he was a butthead. Oh yeah. A chance to strike first, huh? Well, I will take this a bit time to uh, heal up the six hit points that I'm missing. Remember once I erased somebody's Le Legend of Zelda save and then they cried. I was kind of a prick, even then, I guess. Pro pro not really cool of me to erase some dude's save, I guess, but... Warmack? No, chance to strike first, though. Good time to, uh, save one heal potion! Those Gurnagas actually have a spell called Fire, but it is distinct from the standard Fire spell, in that it'll hit your whole party and it does outrageous amounts of damage. It's crazy. They're also one of the few monsters in the game that uses Mute. Interesting thing that I read is that if a character has the Mute status, they can't use spellcasting items. I did not know that until I just read it the other day. 
or not the other day, earlier today, during my downtime. Chance to strike first. Get away from the blue zoids. Bye. I always thought they were more like perp zoids, but I guess the Final Fantasy monster drawer guys. Wow, that was that came out badly. Monster drawer. I hope I find a war mech before my heal potions run out. But I don't know how likely that will be because I am almost out. I guess I could start healing up during fights, but these blue zoids, man. I should use FF Haxter to rename them Perpsoids just to amuse myself. Guys, I've gone through 69 potions trying to find a war mech in this dungeon. And I've got to use four more now. Because I'm not going into a war mech fight with anything less than maximum hit points, at least on the two guys that really, really matter. See ya. I don't think that any maps actually split in half. Like, I think mo a monster on a dungeon map will appear anywhere on that dungeon map. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can only find Warmax on the bridge and you can't find them in the room. I somehow doubt that, but hey, you know what? We'll just walk the bridge for a little while. We'll do things a little differently. One single air. I'm gonna kill it, just because I can. Just because it's the thing that I can do. Mm. Chocolate milk, that's great. You all know you want some. I don't blame you. It sounds fantastic. Alright, Warmech, next fight, here it comes. I could have made this video much shorter by just looking up online what the encounter list was, and then just burning away a bunch of encounters off screen, but... I don't know. This is more fun for me. I don't care if it's more fun for you. Unsubscribe! That's not a war mech. That's a now chow. I'm gonna run out of peers and heals before I find a goddamn war mech. It's like, what's he so afraid of, bro? A war mech? It's like terrified of me. I'm gonna have to go buy more heal potions. Chance to strike first. I don't think I'm missing any hit points, but. Warmech? No, more air. Here it comes though, guys. Warmech, right here, right here. Nope, that's just just more air. More space air. Cosmonauts wear specialized space armor and tanks of oxygen to protect them from deadly outer space air. Godspeed, comrade! Ugh. Warmech? Warm Eck. There it is. There it oh there he is. Ha 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 You going down, sucker. That this is it for you, son. Oh, that's not good. That was not good at all. I'm still doing tons of damage to this thing though. Yeah, you know what? Screw this war mech. Screw you, buddy. That's right. You can okay, you killed two of my guys. That that's fine though. I appreciate that you're putting your all of your effort into this battle. I would expect nothing less. My friend, you were a worthy foe. Uh, yeah, I didn't even get a chance to use nuclear. Pretty awesome. I don't know why I left Cole in the lead. That was kind of a dumb thing to do, but... It's not possible to get another war mech between here and the exit, so I might as well just fight the dudes. But let's put Will in the lead, just... Just to be secure. That's actually a good opportunity to level coal up a little bit. Come to think of it. Oh, no, I don't even think so, son. But yeah, if I can just get coal another level or two. 
Man, if I was just playing on my own, I would go back to the uh, castle ordeal. And didn't I just kill the two of you? What, did you fall down in the desert? And then pick your bloody corpses back up and come at me for another chance? I don't think so. So yeah, the war mech was fun. It was funsies. Uh, what level is he? 24. Uh, he, if he was close to his next hit, I would take him out and kill some zombies or something, but... That's not how it happened. Let's turn the turbo back on. Okay. Let's see here. Ooh, here we go. Ah, open that up. Oh, I was... Gonna read to you from the instruction manual for Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. But I forgot that Dark Moon is a modern video game and therefore doesn't really have an instruction manual that's worth a crap. It's just like a fold-out with the controller and stuff on it. The front of it just gives a description of the Poltergust 5000, which is the latest in goach casting technology from the brilliant mind of Professor E. Gadd. This custom all-in-one vacuum cleaner has both suction and blowing functionality, and is powerful enough to capture large ghosts and pick up heavy objects. But that's not all. The Poltergust 5000 features attachments such as the strobe, which can stun ghosts, and the dark light device, which can reveal illusions. Also, this game is fun as hell. I mean, both Final Fantasy and Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Am I done buying heels yet? No. I should have picked a longer instruction book to read. Does that kind of bum out anybody else that nowadays you buy a game and, like, the instruction book's just, like, a, a thing that shows a picture of the controller that just shows what all the buttons does, even though there's an in-game tutorial that you can't skip in every single freaking game ever that says that exact thing? It kind of bums me out. That was one of my favorite parts of buying a new game back in the day, was busting it open and reading the instruction. I used to do that in the car ride on the way home from the store before I could drive, and my mom had to drive me there. And then even after that, even after I got my own car, I would like sometimes get the instruction manual out at red lights and just try to read it there. I, I, I would get honked at sometimes, and thank goodness I never caused any accidents. Okay, how many peers do I have, just out of curiosity? Five. Um, let's turn off the turbo. There it goes. Okay. I'm ready to beat this freaking game. I beat a Warmack. And... I got the Mazmune. And nothing's gonna stop me now. Even if I lose Rio on this run, I'm not, I don't even care. I'm just gonna go for it. I no longer need Rio. And he never did get Nuke. 